Welcome to Crowd Observations number 89 and we're about to get a green light. Many people dare to take quite the liberties with the lights crossing when it already just turned red. However, this here's a very different story. The Audi to the right has a red light for a very long. Not only does he stand there, but the crossing pedestrian light is green all the time. I've got no idea what is going on with such people, I don't get it. This truck wants to overtake, but there is a corner approaching and he needs to cancel his maneuver due to oncoming traffic. But right after, even closer to the corner and with even less sight, let's try that again. It's interesting how often such idiotic passes do work out because of nothing but pure luck. I don't know what is driving people to get on the other lane while being completely unable to watch out for quickly approaching vehicles. Has common sense gotten a lot more expensive like everything else? Well, people can still afford gas, so they should be able to afford some brains as well, but people and brains is obviously expected too much. Which is also very nicely shown by this next amoeba here. This was already a really bad overtake, but what's happening 20 seconds later? Und jetzt biegt er links ab, ja? Und jetzt muss ich noch anhalten wegen dem Idee. Ey, das kann doch echt nicht wahr sein. Ist das ein dummes Sch. Ey, wie bescheuert! Wie bescheuert! Wie bescheuert! Hier! Yeah, don't we enjoy such people on the road? Being attentive and keeping distance, is that important? Can the camera jetzt anmachen, Tim? Ja, komm, we got right of way, but it seems like Uwe is smelling some shite about to happen. Well, Uwe certainly doesn't have a short fuse. Here we get something interesting from France. Stop signs are pretty much international. That guy would have needed to stay. But weird stuff happens everywhere, like here in Austria. Speed limit of 100 kph, which our man is driving while passing others. But there is always gotta be somebody who doesn't care about keeping his driving license. We are driving 220 kph here. And now we don't. What can you say, careless truck driver, he either didn't check the mirrors at all or he did it in a too sloppy manner. You know that moment. The light is turning and you want to squeeze over quickly at a late yellow. Well, this was way past any yellow and a very heavy violation. But no matter if cars, or cyclists, or pedestrians, people will run the red light. And one day, their lights will go out. And people are different. Some are just in a hurry, and some people simply don't give a crap. In 200 meter, links are <laughs> But all that is nothing compared to this guy here. What? And that was already evil enough, but it gets better. Now we see him ahead of us at the next light, and there are other cars in front of him. So he backs up to get around all the vehicles on the turn lane and runs the red light again. Oh my god, yeah, that was this. So, an exit lane is coming up. And look at this Mercedes getting ready to take it early. But... Uh... 
The driver is owning a Mercedes, but apparently no patience. So of course he needs to be in front of everybody else. He's a natural. Here we got another exit lane, and of course it's one way and no cars are supposed to use the left side of this lane. So every driver is supposed to place himself to the left when he wants to turn left afterwards. But admittedly, that is something everybody could miss. Here is how to wake up in the morning. Clever. Yeah, oncoming traffic is now very awake. Narrow road, apparently. Indeed he's got a reason for standing there, but it would be a good idea to run your left turn signal while doing so, then following drivers know that you're intending to keep going as soon as possible. Some people are just ignorant assholes, you can't say it any different. When you are entering the Autobahn on an acceleration lane, you can pass traffic which is on the main lanes. But when you are already on the main lanes, you are not allowed to overtake on the acceleration lane. It can cause crashes with cars entering the freeway. So the action of this driver here is not only illegal, but also as ignorant as it gets. He gains nothing by pushing himself in front of a few other vehicles, but risking a big fine. Which would be very well deserved. Usually on trailers, you see stuff like motorbikes, or maybe boards or stuff for building something, but what is this? It's a pumpkin! This is a very special pumpkin, having its very personal taxi. Huh, observing some more craziness in France here, and I am pretty sure it's very illegal there too, to be a reversing on the freeway. Pedestrians jaywalking over a red light is nothing new, but look at how this woman seems to be the most relaxed person on the planet. Doesn't give a flying f it's fascinating. A little history to what's about to come. We were told that the car behind the camera driver tried several times to pass him in a 30 zone, but failed. Meanwhile, we left the town and as that driver saw a place to pass, some stupid actions start to roll out. Yo. This guy is slowing us down to below 50 kph and this doesn't look like a mistake. Seems like one of those weird moments where some monkey felt insulted by someone's normal driving. We are leaving this road now and you would guess it's over now. Yeah, it would be if that was a normal person, but apparently it's a caveman on a mission. The guys in our car keep calm and don't freak out about this, which is cool. I would have gotten out and asked him politely, What the f*** is wrong with you? There must be something wrong with this guy, with what he's doing. I mean, even some uninvolved driver now starts to complain about the stupid shit this guy is pulling off here. This should seriously make him think. I don't think we need to argue about this guy, do we? What is actually wrong with him? Why does he think messing with us in traffic in a very penetrant way is justified? If it really was nothing else but him not being able to pass us in a 30 zone, why the anger? But really, it doesn't matter what came before. These actions to brake check us, then taking a detour to brake check us again, and slowing down all traffic is a major coercion. And he should be ripped three new ones for this messed up behavior. This guy is too f up for pushing steel boxes around. Our man Leon has been back to France recently and he also met someone who was blocking him off. Hashtag Mumu. This road is really fascinating, isn't it? 
I think it's pretty relaxing to watch this, and if you would like to do that too, click on the video you see on the bottom right. And if you'd like to watch more of Crowd Observations, on the left side there are two other episodes of ours. Go grab them while they're still hot. Cheers!